Good day, good day, everyone. And once again, we are back together. Apologies that, uh, you know, earlier on, um, that video had some glitches in it. Okay, but uh, here goes another try, right? I hope that you guys are still with us. If you haven't subscribed, please just consider hitting that subscribe button. Okay, right. So we're looking at uh, this question paper from the Eastern Cape. This was in uh, June this year. Right, so in this case, they say 5.1. Of course, we're going to continue with the others as time goes, right? So 5.1 simply says if 5 cos of theta minus 3 is equal to 0, that is between uh, 180 and 360. Now, for these kind of questions, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and write that down, of course, um, 5 the cos of theta minus 3 is equal to 0, right? And, of course, they are giving us that restriction there, which is within um, 360 and 180, or 180 and 360. Okay. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is try and locate where this is in terms of our triangle, right? So this would be 5 cos of theta is equal to 3, and so dividing by both uh, on both sides by 5, uh, the cos of theta would be 3 over 5. All right, now, uh, quickly just to have a look at it, what happens in this case? We know that the cosine of theta is x over r, right? But let's try and find out where it is located, in this case on the Cartesian plane, right? There's our cast diagram, okay? So, we know that cos is positive. That ratio is positive there, right? So, cos is positive in the first quadrant as well as in the second quadrant. Now, we need to find out where exactly will our triangle lie, right? So, then we look at the restriction. The restriction tells us that theta must be an angle between 180 and 360 so which means it must be either in the third quadrant or the fourth quadrant now you see where you see two ticks where you see two uh, ticks in this case that's where we're going to have our triangle right so let's draw that triangle of ours right oops all right so we're going to have our triangle there so that means that it is in the fourth quadrant. Okay, so that means the x value is 3, right? So there's our x value there, positive, and our r value is 5. So that would mean we need to determine now the, the y value. So we're going to simply say, okay, so y or y squared is equal to r squared minus x squared. So that would be 5 squared minus 3 squared. All right, so that would be 25 minus 9, and that would give us 16, okay? And y would be equal to, all right, so that's y squared. And so y would be equal to the square root of 16. But remember, this is plus or minus. Now, if that be the case, remember that if uh, we say plus or minus, we must still go and check. Is it going to be the positive or the negative answer? So this is plus or minus 4, right? But this is in the fourth quadrant, and in the fourth quadrant, our y value is negative. It is in the negative side of the y-axis, right? Now, for the next section... They said to us, well, we've got 17 sine of alpha, right, which is uh, in this case equal to 8. And they said that is between 90 and 270, right? So we've got 17 the sine of alpha, which is equal to 8, okay? And that is alpha is between 270 and 90. Right, so in this case, once again, we're going to try and locate 
where the angle alpha is we're going to isolate our trig ratio right so that sine alpha is equal to 8 over 17 so this is y over r right now please i want you to note in this case because we've got y over r right um sine is positive now where is sine positive a ratio is positive there so where is sine positive it must be in the first or the second quadrant right now they said to us the restriction said that we've got theta between 90 and 270 right so 90 and 270 that's there right there's our 270 there so in this case where do we have two ticks in the second quadrant so that is where we are going to draw our triangle right so now we're going to say right um y is 8 positive 8 r is 17 so we're going to look for the x value right so again using pythagoras x squared would be r squared minus y squared so that's going to be 17 squared minus 8 squared and that would give us 2 2 5 okay so of course x would be plus minus the square root of 2 2 5 which is plus or minus 15 but please remember again we need to find out whether we're going to use the positive or the negative answer and of course in the second quadrant our x value should be negative so that will be negative 15 over there right and now finally the question said to us we need to calculate without the use of a calculator 10 alpha plus 10 theta right so we're going to say right so what is 10 alpha plus 10 theta 10 of alpha plus the 10 of theta in this case you remember that 10 is y over x right for the angle alpha plus y over x for the angle theta so this is for alpha and that was for angle theta right so let's start with alpha that's y y is 8 and x is negative 15 so that would be 8 over negative 15 all right plus 10 of alpha of theta rather again y over x so that's going to be a uh, negative 4 over 3 which is our x value there so that would be negative 4 over 3 right so in this case all that is left for us to do is to try and uh, um, you know just work out our fractions so we've got minus 8 over 15 minus 4 over 3 of course what is our lcd in this case we've got 15 as our lowest common denominator so 15 divided by 15 will give us 1 times negative 8 that will give us negative 8 okay minus so again 15 divided by 3 we get 5 and 5 times 4 in this case we get 20 so that will give us negative 20 all right and our final answer in this case will become right negative 28 over 15 and that is how the cookie crumbles all right please just look out for more of these uh, i will be looking at uh, this next question okay uh, in my next video and of course just continue with the rest of that otherwise from me for now i hope that you were able to get that and understand it i'll see you guys next time sharp sharp